Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Praise Amen. To the God the Father, God the Son, and God, God the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Praise to the God who came and nailed on the cross. Amen. Praise to the praise to the Lamb of God who take away the sin of the world. Amen. Praise Beautiful. to the praise to the eternal Son of God who did not stay dead and he is risen. He's risen indeed. Yep. He's risen indeed. Amen. Amen. Today, they want to talk about the crucifixion of Jesus. Yes. His death and his resurrection. Amen. There are, there are verses in the Christian scripture confirm death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. It starts from Genesis, goes to the Revelation. Yeah. In the biographies of Jesus, we read the full account how event took place. Yeah. And then not only as a historical event, also Bible's reason that for us. Why the Je why Jesus needed to die on the cross? Why he wanted to die on the cross? Yes. Yet we look at the Islam and then we see there is something disturbing in Islam. It's somehow there are Muslims making a claim Jesus never died. Yeah. How does it Interesting. Make you feel? Well, Jesus' death is the core, essential uh, part of our faith. So when Islam says Jesus didn't die, then that really touches, yeah, well, Muslims, they get it from somewhere. That really touches, you know, the core part of my faith and it's not good. So, let's look at the verses and then see what actually they say. As Christians in the teachers, Jesus died and resurrected. Let's see what the Islamic scripture teaches beside Muslims. Yes. So, first verse we go to is Surah 4 verse 457. Yes. Brother, would you like to read that? Yeah, sure. So, it says, uh, And because of their saying, we slew the Messiah, Jesus son of Mary, Allah's messenger. They slew him not, nor crucified him, but it appeared so unto them. And lo, those who disagree concerning it are in doubt thereof. They have no knowledge, therefore save pursuit of conjecture. They slew him not for certain, but Allah took him up unto himself. Allah was ever mighty wise. Mm, so, I don't know about I'll that. Ask you the basic question: Who are they? Is it talking about Jews? Is it talking about Romans? Unfortunately, who made, yeah. Who made a claim that they crucified Jesus? Well, according to the scripture, what we just read. According to the Quran, not the scripture. According to, according to this Quran, where we just read, uh, it's the Jews. Okay, so we are agreeing with Islam that it wasn't the Jews. We agree who with Islam. Yes. Messiah. It we agree with that. Roman Empire. Yes. They crucified Jesus. Yes. They crucified Jesus. But I don't know if Muslims know that. Oh, well, this definitely had them all that. Yeah. So as as Quran tells us, Jews claim Jews claim they killed the Messiah. Yeah. We know not that, that that's not the case. It was the Roman Empire who killed Jesus. Yeah. And then we look at other verses in the Quran, for example, Surah 3, verse 144, confirms that all the messengers before Muhammad died. Died, yes. So Muhammad was, Jesus was a messenger before Muhammad. Therefore, Quran according to confirms, Islam. Yes, yeah. according to Islam. Therefore, Quran confirms his death. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then we, we see can... the statement from Jesus himself. himself. In Surah 1933, yeah. He said that peace is on me the day I was born. This is Jesus as a little child. The day I die and the day I shall be raised up to life. Do you want to, shall I tell you something very interesting about that? Yeah, go on, yeah. If Jesus prophesies his death and his resurrection as a baby, yeah. as a baby, Yusuf Ali, in his Quran, commentary footnote 2485 states, 
Christ was not crucified according to Surah 4 verse 157. And he had made them blessed wherever, wherever, um, uh, sorry. Christ was never, Christ was never crucified according to Surah 4 verse 157. But those who believe that he never died should hold on over this verse. Yusuf Ali, who translated the Quran for us, says there is a problem with the Surah 4, One, five, verse 157. So, so far, they came to the conclusion and agreement with the Quran, it wasn't Jews who killed the Messiah. We saw Muhammad, Allah tells us, Allah tells us through Muhammad, all the messengers before Muhammad were killed. Uh -huh. We saw baby Jesus prophesy his death and resurrection. Yep. And then we see in Surah 355 and 507, yep. Allah is telling, Allah is telling, Allah is going to cause Jesus to die. Yep. So they all kind of come together as the death of Jesus. So what I don't understand is the Muslims claim that Jesus did not die. Okay, Muslims can make lots of claims. It can go against their tradition, sorry, against their scripture. It's very sad. So one of the earliest writings of the Quran. Uh, one of the earliest writings. Um, Muslims will go with the commentaries. Al Tabari. Al Tabari, yes. Much earlier than even Kathir. What do we know about Al Tabari? Well, Al, -tab Al Tabari was in 923. And, yeah, 923. So, uh, in, in Al Tabari, in a nutshell, it says. Yeah. Which is the commentaries to the Islamic history. Yeah. Approximately 40 volumes. This is volume 4. So, in volume 4, page 120 to 124 in a nutshell it says thank you uh, that jesus christ died at three o'clock i want you to ponder that muslims just like yusuf ali said ponder that i want you to ponder that statement he died at three o'clock it is a very serious statement yes tabari confirms the death of jesus at three o'clock on friday yeah Back, he kill so, all of us? Yes, let's also unpack what else Tabari tells us. Yeah. Jesus comes back, he Tabari, kill us? Tabari tells us Jesus saw his death is coming. Jesus grieved for that. Yep. Okay. Tabari tells us Jesus washed hands of his disciples. Yep. Tabari tells us Jesus stated sacrifice yourself for one another and I sacrifice myself for you. Yep. So when Jesus comes back, when he kills us, Tabari, Tabari confirms for us. Jesus was spot on. Tabari confirms for us. They put the crown of cross, crown of thorn on the head of Jesus when they crucified us. Mm -hmm. And in Tabari, Tabari confirms for us. Jesus crucified and died at three o'clock. And he was raised alive again. So why would Islamic tradition say that? But Muslims claim something else. Let me tell you some, one more interesting thing about Tabari. Tabari also tells us, Tabari also tells us, Jesus sent his disciples and commanded them to teach in his name. Yeah. Tabari tells us, Tabari tells us, then God raised Jesus. Okay, that's the essential for today's resurrection. He shall give him wings of an angel and dress him in radiance. No more not in Jesus' finished food or drink. He was flying along with angels around the cross. You know, the disturbing part about that is, it sounds like angels are also around the throne with Jesus. And what throne is that? Allah's throne. So that's double shirk. Tabari also 
keep us, keep us both human and angelic. Can you pronounce it? Celestial and terrestrial. Tabari confirms the death and resurrection of Jesus. Tabari confirms the great commission. Yeah. Come on, Tabari confirms that Jesus is around the throne. How can he be around the throne with Allah? Muslims, that's what we want. There are no Muslims here who want to answer these questions. You can't answer any question, brother. And also Tabari confirms us because the death and resurrection of Jesus, it was the Christian faith start growing in Rome. Yeah, according to this, yeah. So, as we look at the Tabari, as we look at the Tabari, we want to see, we want to see what happened to the Jesus. Because Quran tells us it wasn't Jesus who killed Jesus. And Tabari explains, gives us that in a big detail. Yeah. And then confirms in Tabari page 124. Can you answer that? Can you answer that? If you're a sincere and sensible Muslim, answer that question. Answer the question. Al Tabri says Jesus died. Yeah, and resurrected. Al Tabri says it. We got the volume here. Okay, can you answer the question? This is what I'm saying. This is why we don't ask you, because you don't know. This is how we are interpreting. I'll read it, and then everyone can interpret it in their way. Yeah, let's see how you interpret it. Listen. 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 Son of Mary yeah. died at 3 o'clock in the day. Then he took him unto himself. There you go. He took him unto himself. So, according to, according to Tabari, Jesus died. According to Muslims, Jesus didn't die. Who do we go to? We go to the Bible, which is very, very reliable. We don't go to the Muslims. No. So what does the Bible tell us? The Bible says that Jesus Christ, he said, I am going to die and resurrect. I will raise my body up in the third day. He prophesied his death and resurrection. And today we have Resurrection Sunday. And the Bible says he is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen indeed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.